Olympiakos. That is the team that we need to get past today in this episode in the Champions League qualifying rounds. Last time we played them, they beat us twice, and it was only a season ago they beat us 3-2 and 4-1. Hopefully this time around we can do a lot better. Here we are then in Greece for our third time playing Olympiakos. Our starting 11, we're going for the 4-2-3-1 formation. No real surprises in our starting 11. Sabala, Abdul Samad, Zomers and Titov, the only real players still left in our squad as main starters. Early chance after just 30 seconds. This is good. An away goal would be absolutely magnificent as well. Sergei's count has gone all the way back to Kristaps Zomers though. In goal then for the Latvian side, Frank Dow. Where are you going to go? Long ball? Nope. Fair enough. Short pass to the Ghanaian Abdul Samad. Now Taihi, the Ivorian on the right-hand side. He's got David Titov as well. Titov picks this ball up. A few purple and green shirts in the middle if we can get the cross away. Taihi now has the ball again. He's tried to cross the in. It's hit the post. And Oleg has hit that so hard into the crowd behind the goal. I think probably knocked one of them out. We've got ourselves a corner. Who's taking it? Maris Mikulov? It is Maris Mikulov. Left-footed towards the back post. But Jose Sar comes out and holds on to that one. First chance goes our way. Second chance also might be going our way. Vugels to Smirnovs. Where are you going to go, buddy? Back to Yanis Vugels. Mikulov with this. Little flick to counter. Tries to get some space. Instead, plays it through to Ivar Smirnovs, who was offside. That could have been a big goal. That could have been an away goal for us. We have started pretty brightly. We've had four shots, two of them on target. Olympiakos have had a couple of chances. This is their first real highlight, potentially. Durakan with this ball runs off towards the referee. Now Pepe... We need to nick this. Durakan again plays it to Oleg on the left-hand side. Controls it well. Runs towards David Titov. Titov's there. He's given him a trip. Of course he has. I'm pretty sure this happened last time we played them. Come on, Zomers. Come on, Zomers. Make sure you do the business. Who's stepping up? It is Pepe versus Zomers. And Zomers doesn't have to move. It's straight at the goalkeeper. Mikulov kicks it off for a throw as well. David Titov is a very lucky boy. We are getting VAR. Um, it shows us nothing. I assume that's it's still not gone in. And at half-time, then it is nil-nil. We've had the better amount of chances, but obviously Olympiakos with that penalty, they should be 1-0 up. I'm pleased with how things are going. I am going to then say to Titov, to Taihi, and probably Mikulov and Sabala, um, I want something else. There's more to come from you. Two minutes into the second half, and we've got the ball in a good position, but it's cleared. Abdul Samed has collected it, though. Where are you going? Don't go backwards. He's gone backwards. Fair enough. Frank Dow. Loads and loads of space for the young Ivorian. Taihi's off in front of him. So is David Titov. Heads down to Taihi. Back to Titov, who conceded the penalty in the first half. Abdul Samed to Kauna. Titov's got loads of space. If somebody can spot Titov, that would be amazing. Instead, we've gone to Vugels, who isn't a fullback, really. Sergei's Kauna. Down the wing. Smirnovs to Mikulov to Vugels. There's a goal happening here. I can sense it. Smirnovs has some space. There's two in the box. It's Sabala at the front. It's a good block. And the ball is cleared. Another chance from a free kick. Maris Mikulov takes this. This is basically a corner. Taihi with a headed effort off the line from Cissé. Kauna's trying to get some space for himself. Taihi gets another chance. He's gone past his man. Smirnovs is there. And he's missed it. He's, missed, he's actually missed an open goal there. How are we not winning this game? We should be winning. Trollinkovs doesn't get on the end of that. Villalba can play it back to Lee Kang in. Pepe, who missed his penalty, or had his penalty saved, I guess. It was a terrible penalty, so either way, it was it's not a goal, is it? Durakan to Oleg. Left-hand side is Bezas. We've got Taihi with him. Steals it away. Good job, Taihi, who's still 18, 19, maybe 20 years old. That was awful. He's uh, that's, that's, his last, that's his last involvement in the game. Richie Enin, the Canadian, is going to come on. We're not doing very well down that right-hand side, so maybe bringing somebody else on. Enin is he's basically a left winger. That's his natural position, but we're going to play him on the right-hand side, see if it makes a difference. They're also suggesting I bring on Kevin Bossard for Frank Dow. Not so sure on that one. 15 minutes left to play. Fortunus with it. Pepe plays it to this man's name. Lee Kang in. Villalba, he's been kicked over by Dow, and it's not going to be a penalty. Richie Ennin can run into the space on the right-hand side. The Canadian international, he's just he's ran it a little bit too far and given the ball away to Oleg. Cissé cleared the ball off the line earlier on in the match. Gets it back from Oleg. Oleg has it again. Now Pepe down the left-hand side. Seferovic to Fortunis. Fortunis has lost the ball. Yes, Richie Ennin's kicked it straight into him. He's kicked it straight into his face and Villalba's in on goal here. Frank Dowell's with him. Oleg, the left back, is he going to get a cross away? Number 45, Seferovic into the penalty area. There's a goal happening here. Oh my word, Frank Dow, what are you doing? You nearly scored an own goal there, buddy. Corner for Olympiakos. 
Fortunis is taking this corner. Get it clear. Get it clear. Good job from Troninkovs. Now Smirnovs needs some support. Is there a counter-attack going to happen here? Smirnovs goes off to the left-hand side. He's been tackled well by Oleg. Oleg has been very good, in my opinion, for, uh, for Olympiakos. He's on a 7.0 rating. Someone who hasn't been very good for us, though, is Sabala. He's coming off. Oleg's Gorks is going to come on. Titov for the boss. Kevin Bossard as well. We've got a lot of players who are not playing very well. The right-hand side of our squad has been garbage. Rich Yenin's come on, and he's on a 6.4. It is going to be a nil-nil draw. This is much, much better. We should have won. We actually should have won that game. We had 15 shots, 7 on target, no goals to speak for. Obviously, Pepe had his penalty saved as well, so Olympiakos could feel a bit hard done by that they didn't win the game. Zomers gets an 8.3 rating. Now, I know this is a building a nation save with Latvia, but we have signed an Omani striker called Ali al Makhani, who is absolutely ridiculous. He's cost us... £450,000, which is actually quite a lot of money, but I, I could not turn down this opportunity. If you've seen any of my other episodes and other saves, I love buying young players. I love buying the youngsters, turning them into world-class footballers. I could not turn this opportunity down. Look at those mental numbers. So, after a 0-0 draw in the first leg, it is all to play for, and we are the home side. Starting 11-wise, we've had to make one change. Juris Melkimians has come in goal because Zomers, unfortunately, did pick up an injury, which is not ideal for us. 16 minutes on the clock. Oleg has this ball, playing what looks like a right-back today. Pepe, long ball towards Fortunis, in towards goal. He's in the penalty area, back, crosses that ball in, Valauba's not going to get there, and now Taihi can hopefully keep it in play, he does manage to do that, and he's gone back to Malcolm Jans, fair enough, left-hand side is Smirnovs, he's going to run through the middle by the looks of it, I would have preferred he went off to the left-hand side, Smirnovs is still going though, gets it to Taihi, Titov needs this ball, it's gone to Kauner, Kauner's going to invite, I can see it happening, he's going to invite Vugels forward, Mikulov, doesn't manage to get his pass down there, but Vugel still has it. Counter to Mikulov, to Abdul Samed. Loads of space on the right-hand side. Why are we trying to go down the left? There is loads of space on the right-hand side. Troninkovs, back across to Frank Dow. Now we've used the right-hand side for David Titov. Plenty of blue and yellow in the middle. Cross ball. Mikulov is on the head. It dinks the top of the bar and goes over. First chance on camera goes the Skins Academy way. Second chance also might be going our way. Smirnovs towards Titov. Maybe Cissé cleared it. We need to be paying enough attention there. Taihi to Maris Mikulov. To Troninkovs. Now Vugels. Left-hand side is an option. Gorks has done a little flicked head towards nobody. And Jose Saar is going to pick that one up. There hasn't been a highlight yet as part of this highlight. So maybe something's coming from this. It's a long ball upfield from the goalkeeper. Smirnovs has it though for us. Plays in Taihi. Lovely touch to get past his man. And Taihi puts that into the bottom corner. And we are 1-0 up against Olympiakos in the Champions League qualifiers. If we win this match, we have one more tie to play. And then we're in the Champions League group stages. Is half an hour on the clock too soon to shut up shop or do we keep going, maybe try and get ourselves a second, get a two goal buffer? It's looking like it's going to be 1-0 to the Skins Academy at half time and this is massive, absolutely massive for Latvian football. We are 1-0 up at home against Olympiakos, 1-0 on aggregate as well. If we concede, that could be a very, very bad thing actually, that's an away goal. No changes at half time. I am looking at Gorks, I'm looking at Mikulov, I'm looking at Abdul Samet, I'm looking at Titov. So uh, we've got a number of players who aren't doing particularly well. Vugels also just throws that straight to an Olympiakos player. Troninkov's with this though. Plays it across to Frank Dow. Picked up a yellow card. Abdul Samet also on a yellow card. Taihi plays that ball to Smirnovs who heads down to Fortunus. What, what was that header, buddy? What was that header? Oleg to Bezas. Taihi's behind him, the goal scorer. Bezas still has it. Taihi's putting on the pressure. It's gone long. Abdul Samed heads down comfortably. So what are we doing there? What are we doing there? Steal it. Good job, Smirnovs. Um, this is a strange highlight. Nobody is doing well in this highlight. Misplaced passes. Poor tackles. Tronikovs has nearly taken that man's head off. Oleg finds Bezas on the left. Plenty of blue and yellow shirts with him, though. Bezas has it back to that man's name. Lee Kang in. Runs across Pepe. Oleg with loads and loads of space. Two dark blue shirts in the middle as well. And what a block that is from the former central midfielder, Troninkovs. Right, we're going to do ourselves a change. Mikulov is not doing himself any favours. Oscars Ivanovs. We're also going to do Gorks for Sabala. Ivanovs has been out on loan last season and he did a very good job, I think, at Riga. 
So I want him to get a bit more football under his belt. It's Fortunis. Lee Kang in. We need to steal this. Still plenty of time as well. About 25 minutes. Lee Kang in's in on goal. Malcolm Yans with a save. It is going to be a corner. Fortunis is going to take this right footed. It's a curling out, outside the area by the looks of it. Smirnov has been taken out by Lee Kang in, and that's probably going to be a yellow card. Or not, fair enough. Olympiakos are getting back into this. This has got me worried. This has genuinely got me worried. We've got one more sub that we can do, which it might not be relevant. It's a Julio Villalba. It's 1 1, but Olympiakos now have that away goal. Titov with the throw. Sabala's there, not going to get it. We could have got straight back into this game. Vilalba's going to run full with this ball. Straight past Frank Dow. Trollenkovs is there with him. Vilalba's still going. Lee Kang in on the right-hand side. Plays Vilalba in. And what a save that is from Juris Melkemjans. It's still 1-1, obviously. That away goal, though, is killing us. Number 12, it's probably Fortunis. It is Fortunis to take this corner towards the back post. Yanis Vugels heads that clear. And Smirnovs once again picks it up. But the highlight ends. Final change. Abdul Samed is going to be the man to come off. We are going to basically push Tronikovs a bit further up the pitch. Juris Kramens is going to come on as a central defender. Tronikovs playing as a ball in the midfielder, which he's good enough to do. He's obviously one of our better players. Has been over the last, what, five years? Five minutes. Five minutes to get ourselves a goal. And literally, time has just disappeared. I've gone attacking. This has to go in. We have to score from this chance. Vugels to Smirnovs. He's been... Panoi, ref! Referee, he's been take, taken out on the penalty area. And now Olympiakos can counter-attack. If this goes in, it's game over. Durakan versus Melkem Jans. Melkem Jans is useless. We've lost to Olympiakos when we've been basically leading for 70 minutes, 65 minutes. We should have had a penalty. We are going to go out of the Champions League qualifiers. And that is painful. That is so painful. We had to replace our goalkeeper through injury. And I feel like that was part of the problem. Is this... It, we can't water bottle. We can't water bottle. But lots of people are anxious, frustrated, very frustrated. You can see as well. I'm far from pleased. We're going to thrash arms. I'm far from pleased because it wasn't a good performance. When you look, again, strikers, attacking midfielders, midfield, central midfielders, goalkeeper, right back as well, not playing particularly well. We should have gone through there. So what does that mean? We're out of the Champions League... We are playing Red Star Belgrade for a chance to get into the Europa League. Red Star, I, I imagine, are very good. I don't know whether they're going to be superb, but I imagine they're pretty decent. Their goalkeeper's good. We're going to struggle here. Andrik, he's good, isn't he? They're a lot better than most of our players. Right. Hmm. Although, we did just push Olympiakos to the limits, and I'd say Belgrade probably aren't as good. Maybe they're on par with Olympiakos. Before we end our Champions League run, let's take a final look at the coefficient of 1.625, which is obviously a massive improvement, almost a one-point improvement on the previous season or the season that we are going to be losing. It means 18.625, although I imagine we're, we're moving up two places for the moment. But obviously, we've got Red Star Belgrade. We have now definitely got some European football as well, be that the Europa League or be that the uh, Europa Conference League. I'm hoping we actually get into the Europa League properly this time, as opposed to the Europa Conference League for, what, the fifth time in six seasons? Thank you very much for watching this episode. If you did enjoy, do please remember you can hit the like button, the subscribe button as well if you're new to the channel. I'll see you in the next one for Red Star Belgrade, and hopefully we're into the Europa League. Thanks for watching.